Hello everyone and welcome to the 0 to 10 Dynamic CRM 2011 series. I'm David Kohar and I'm going to be walking you through the interactive session here today. Today's session is actually on setting up custom entities in Dynamic CRM 2011 and I've broken the presentation down into three components. The first component is I want to go through a quick design concept overview so everybody gets the idea of what we're going to go and do inside of CRM. Next I'm going to go into CRM and actually give a customization demo and show how you actually go in and add custom entities and really extend the application itself. And then third, we'll do a quick wrap up. So lots of customers come to us and ask us how they can actually extend the application to really manage whether it be more customer business processes that they have or just some specific relational um, things that they want to track. So the simple example I'm going to give you guys today is let's imagine that the organization that we're working with or our organization in fact wants to add in a new record type inside of CRM called samples. And when we look at samples, we actually want to do a couple things with this new record type. We want to go in and actually not only just add the, the record type called sample or samples, but we want to go in and add some fields into the uh, record itself. So we're going to add in things like a link out to the customer record, in this case the account, a link to the contact record, the, uh, whether this has been shipped, yes or no, um, look at the date shipped. I'll put a look up to the product so we can actually show which product we sent out as far as the uh, sample itself. We're going to put in a quantity, a sample description, and we're going to assign who the owner is for the actual sample record. And then once we create that entire new custom entity or this new custom record type, we want to then you know, do some things to extend to it as well, like you know, add in a view to really robustly show what samples look like. So in the middle here of this, uh, this page, you can see we've added in sample. And again, sample is not a record that's out of the box, but we're going to show how easy it is to add. And again, we're actually creating this relationship now between accounts, contacts, products, users, and now this new sample entity. So let's go in and start, uh, start the process. So I'm logged into CRM 2011. And when I go in here, I, there's a few places I can go to get started. Um, to add this custom entity, but I'm going to go in through the settings area and then under customization I'm going to click on customizations and customize the system. When I get in here now I want to add in a new record type. So I come up here to under components and say new entity and I'm going to now name that entity sample. I'll name the plural samples. And there's a few things I can do. I can actually set the ownership to be a user or team or the organization. Um, I can define this actually as a custom activity, which is another option for, for you if you want to create a new custom activity type. We're not going to do that. We're going to create sample as its own record type now. Um, we can display this in a few different areas. Of course, in workplace, sales, marketing, service that you'll recognize on the uh, left-hand side when we go into the main area of the application. For now, I'm going to just put this into the sales area. And then I have some options down here around um, whether or not I want to actually be able to send email, for instance, from the, uh, the record type, um, be able to have document management set up, have queues, and whatnot. Um, so that, that is, um, that's options that I'm going to go through here as I, as I build out the record and, and think about it more, um, whether I want to have auditing or duplicate detection, and then whether I want it to be available in Mobile Express. So I'm going to click yes to that and even have offline capabilities for CRM for Outlook and I'm going to click yes to those two. Okay? So that's the uh, bunch of options there that you can dig into a little bit further as you, as you go in and create your own entities. But for now I'm going to go ahead and click on save and it's now actually creating this new entity or this new custom record type in the system called sample. And we'll give it a second to actually create the record. Okay, now that the record has been created I'm going to go in and do some things um, to the record here. So I'm going to go into forms first of all. I'm going to open up the main form. I'll expand this. And you'll notice now when I open up the main form that it's actually very basic in terms of what's been created already for me. The basic framework in place of course is that there's a name um, to name the actual, uh, in this case each record, the owner of who the record um, owner is, and then you'll see some system fields that have been created here on the right hand side. Created by, created on, and so on. So we can actually use those fields if we so choose on the form, um, or at least we know that they're available to us. So one of the things I'm going to do now is I'm going to go in and create the fields that I said that I would create. 
And if I go back to my PowerPoint slide, there's a cheat sheet real quick. I wanted to do things like add in a field uh, like the customer, which is a lookup to the account, so I'll call that customer. And when you add in customer, we'll go in here and put in the type of lookup, which goes back to the account, which is good. That's what we need. So we'll go ahead and save and new, create that field. We wanted to create the date shipped. So I'll go ahead and create that as a date field. Date and time. Go ahead and click Save and New. We wanted to put in the key contact that we were shipping this to. So in that case, it's actually a lookup again, but this time to the contact table. So that's great. So we'll add that field. Let's see what were our other fields here. Shipped, key contact, date shipped. Are we on the ship, yes or no? So we'll do a nice little yes, no here. We're going to do product quantity. So product. And again, I'm just creating all these fields here on the fly that are going to allow me now to pop these onto the form once I'm completed and be able to build out the actual record type that I want. Quantity. Now, in this case, I'm going to use a whole number. And what I'm going to do is I'm not going to have a negative quantity for shipments or samples, but maybe I'll make the maximum value for samples as 10,000. Suppose if we're sending more than 10,000 samples, that's probably no longer a sample. Let's see, did we capture them all? Quantity, sample description, and owner, which we already have on here. So that's good. So let's go ahead and just close that. Let's come back to our record here for a second. So a couple of things I want to do now. I want to actually change the name. I'm going to use this field uh, here, but I'm actually going to call it sample description instead and leave it as a required field. And I'm actually going to set the formatting to be two columns wide. I'm going to leave the owner on there so we always know who the owner of the sample record is. And now I'm going to go and drag over the fields that I just created, like customer, date shipped, key contact, we'll put that right across here from the customer, uh, let's see, product, sounds like a good one, have up here with quantity, drag that on to, and has it been shipped, yes or no, and if I recall correctly, we had date shipped, maybe we could keep those two together, and so I'll do that, and you know, make my customer format two fields across. And away we go. I can drag these around to any order that I want them in. So again, if I wanted to actually have quantity over here underneath product, I could do that. And then I can put shipped and date shipped here at the bottom. I've now created this now, this new sample record which I can now track the description, the customer, the product, the quantity, the ship, the date ship, the owner, and the key contact. So I'm going to go ahead and save and close this now. So we've actually created the actual form. Now I'm going to come back to my entity. And now I'm going to go in and look at the views. So you'll see actually I got a half a dozen or so views created for me automatically out of the box. Things like active samples, inactive, what my quick find will look like. And you can go in and actually redo all these, redo the columns and such to make them exactly the way you want them. What I'm going to do for now is I'm going to just take the active sample view, default view, and I'm actually going to make this a little more robust. So I'm going to add some things on this um, particular view, owner, product, quantity, um, shipped. So I'm going to make this a much more robust view. Um, I'm going to do things like move my customer over to the to the right, I'm going to make it a little bit wider in terms of the column width, the name, maybe remove that description here for now. Um, what I'll do is I'll, I'll sort on descending from the created on, and I'll move the created on over to the far right. 
We can do things like date shipped. Move that over. Shipped. I'm going to move over to this way. Um, product quantity, owner, key contact. I'll make a little wider. Make that 150. And make my owner record, owner of the record, a little wider at 150. And we're good to go. So now we have a nice view to it as well. I'm going to save and close that. And now finally what I want to do is I want to actually publish. So I'm going to go ahead and hit the publish button. And now we're going to take this entire sample uh, record type that we just created and actually publish it out to CRM for our users to actually use. Give that a second to publish. Okay. So now that we've done that, let's minimize that for a second. And we'll go back to the main area. So I'm going to go back into Workplace here. And in fact, actually I'm going to do, uh, do a quick refresh so that everything in CRM gets refreshed here for me. And when I go down to Sales now, we'll see that we have this thing called Samples. So I can go ahead and click on Samples. And you'll see there's the empty view. I'm going to go ahead and add a new record here. I can put in things like um, send sample to Adidas. So I'll make the customer Adidas. Um, the product I'm going to do is I'm going to select Windows 7 phone. The key contact, I can go and look up that and pick somebody here if I want. Um, I'll pick David Radford. And we'll put in a quantity. We'll say we're going to send them 10 phones to sample. Uh, we haven't shipped it yet, um, so we will put shipped as no, and we'll leave the date shipped as blank. And there is our first sample record. So, quick wrap up. So we were able to quickly go into Dynamics CRM 2011 and actually add in this new record called sample. We were able to extend it out and actually connect it to accounts, contacts, users, and products, and we were able to add fields and views um, to the to the sample record itself and really actually extend the application now. So now we can actually track our samples um, inside of CRM as well. So I want to wrap up uh, again by thanking everyone for watching the video today. Uh, again, this is David Kohar with Zero to Ten. If you're interested in actually learning more about the complimentary Learning Labs program that we put on for CRM online trial participants, please email us at learninglabs at zero to ten CRM.com. If you're interested in uh, knowing more about our project-based consulting, please email us at info at 0 to 10CRM.com. You can always find us online at 0 to 10CRM.com, or you can follow us on Twitter at twitter.com slash 0 to 10CRM. Thanks for watching.